Here we have a very nice looking 2007 BMW 335i M Sport in silver. Car's in very nice condition for its age as you'll see in the video. But if we start with the offside front tyre. Tread wise on the offside front you're looking at around 4mm of tread there. Looking at the offside front alloy we have got some little minor kerbs around the alloy so I would uh, recommend a refurb. But for its age it isn't bad at all. Just a couple of minor kerbs there. Looking down the offside of the vehicle itself, um, it's a bit bright, I do apologise. Taking a good look, can't see any signs of any dinks, dents, and especially no signs of any damage at all. Mirror cap's nice and clean, nice condition there. Looking at the driver's door itself, now it is silver so it should show um, most things, but it's very clean. Um, I can't really see any signs of any scratches at all. Um, door edge is very clean as well, no chips there at all. So overall nice and clean. And even below the driver's door as well, doesn't appear to be any damage or any marks at all. So very clean looking car there. Quick look at the roof, again taking a good look. No signs of any dents or any damage there, so that's great. And then moving towards the offside rear uh, end of the vehicle. Again moving down towards the tyre here. Very clean, I'm having a good look, can't see any signs or any scratches or any damage, so very nice looking car there. Offside rear tyre, again you're looking at around 4 mil of tread there, possibly a little bit more. And then look at the offside rear alloy, again uh, this one's in very nice condition actually. A little bit of a minor scuff there to the bottom, but apart from that no signs of any curbing or any marks there, so very nice condition on the offside rear. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle itself, as you can see, very nice looking car. Taking a look at the back of the vehicle here, again, can't see any signs of any dinks, any dents, or any major damage at all. Rear parking sensors at the back, a couple of light little scratches here and there, and yeah, I've got some slight presses in the actual paintwork there, as you can see. It's so slightly pressed on the bumper there. And another one slightly pressed on the paint as well, so two little presses here and there. And then a few light scratches as well. Um, scratches are very light, so should polish out no problem on the back of the boot lid here. But just be aware there's a few little minor little marks here and there. A couple of light little scratches anyway. But again, nothing major. No side of the vehicle now. And we'll have a look at that near side rear tyre. Again, you're looking at around 4 to 5 mil of tread, so plenty of tread there. And then looking at the near side rear alloy, again, you are looking at a few little minor little scuffs here and there, a little bit of a curb as you can see. But again, apart from that one I've just shown you, no other signs of any curbs at all. So again, nice condition for its age. Looking down the near side of the vehicle itself. Again, you're looking at a very clean car here, guys. Um, can't see signs of any dinks, any dents. And again, especially no signs of any damage. Moving towards the front passenger door here. A couple of little marks of the paintwork, as you can see. Just a couple of little age-related marks. A um, little bit of a minor chip there on the door edge. Just requires a bit of paint. Apart from that, though, again, you're looking at a clean car. Very light scratches here and there. Just require polish. Mirror cap spotless. No marks there. And moving towards the near side front tyre. Again, you look at around 4 to 5 mm tread. All four tyres are spotless. And then looking at the near side front alloy, again, some little minor kerbs here and there. They are very low profile alloys, uh, tyres, sorry. So, got to be aware of those. But uh, again, not too bad condition. Moving towards the front of the vehicle. You are looking at a few little minor stone chips here and there. Of course, there's a few on the bonnet, uh, just require some touchings again. Nothing serious at all. Paintwork looks very nice. No damage at all to the front bumpers. And like I said, just a few little stone chips here and there. Overall though, very nice looking car on the outside. Let's take a look inside now. They do get the full black Dakota leather M Sport seats. Really nice condition on the driver's seat here. Uh, holsters are in nice condition, slight little bit of wear into leather, but you would expect that really from a car of its age. But like I said, very nice condition there. If we just flip the seat back and you can have a look in the back. A little bit dirty, just requires a bit of a valet. But as you can see, the leather is spotless. No signs of any damage, no scratches or tears to the leather. 
and overall a very nice looking car inside as well and taking a quick look at uh, the passenger seat now sorry the little drives the seat is a little bit stuck there it's a little bit stiff if we just take a look at the uh, passenger seat there again very nice condition no signs of any damage look at the rest of the interior of the vehicle as well very clean You've got no problems at all there, no scratches or marks. Steering wheel's also in nice condition. So everything's very well on the vehicle itself. We just try and get this seat to, to go back. Like I said guys, it is a little bit stiff. There we go. A step inside I can show you the paperwork and mileage. You do get to uh, only one key with the vehicle, as you can see, so just one key. But if we just get the car started up, as you can see, no problem starting the vehicle at all. You get that nice sound as well from the engine. Very nice. Very low mileage as well, guys. 55,244 miles on the clock. So for its age, very low. No summers appearing on the dash there, and it's RV either. We just get this door shut. Like I said, nice condition to a steering wheel as well, and it is multifunction. And of course, you've got your gears there as well. Look at the setup here, you've got Bluetooth, CD changer, radio. Everything functions very well, all sounds great. Um, you've got your air conditioning of course, no problems with that. And no problems at all with any of the blowers. Everything is functioning just how it should, so that's great. Automatic transmission as you can see. Taking a quick look at the documents now guys, look at the V5. The car has had three owners. It does come with an MOT certificate, which ends here September 2nd, 2014. So plenty left on the MOT for the vehicle. And you do get full franchise service history as well, just to top the car off. As you can see, first one here at Rybrook Shrewsbury, that's with us. 13,000, 31,000 second stamp. You got the one at 36, and your last one there at 50,000 miles. So about 5,000 miles ago his last service, so not too long ago. As you can see, full service history. There we go, guys. That is the 2007 BMW 335 Petrol. Very little work needed to do into the car. Very nice condition and very low mileage.